Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba'd. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika in ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa staghfiruka liman a'lamu. Ahabati fillah. When we have differences, I believe it is well known that we should return those differences back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And that is advice first and foremost to myself and to my brothers and sisters in Islam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Adin al Nasiha, Adin al Nasiha, Adin al Nasiha. The religion is sincere advice. The religion is sincere advice. The religion is sincere advice. Qala liman. So it was said to who? Wa kama qil. Qala lillahi wa li kitabihi wa li rasulihi wa rasulihi wa a'immatul muslimin wa imamihim. Wa kama qala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu said, this sincere advice, it is uh, to Allah, to his book, to his prophet, or he said prophets, alayhim afla salatu wasalam, and I forget the exact narration, and to the leader of the Muslims and the general Muslims. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu Adin al Nasiha, religion is sincere advice. Liman, lila. To Allah. Sincere advice does not mean we advise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This means we advise for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it means we practice what Allah has commanded us, and that we give Him His haq. That is what Adin al Nasiha, or al Nasiha, lillahi. It means that we practice Tawheed, we understand Tawheed, we call to Tawheed, and we practice the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We give him his haq, his right. And the haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as is mentioned in another hadith, haq Allah alibadi and ya'budu wa la yushikubi shayin. That the right of Allah is that you, he is worshipped alone, and uh, is that the slave worships him alone, and does not associate any partners with him. This is the haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is the nasiha, the kitabihi? The advice or nasiha, and better probably not to translate it as advice here, the nasiha, the kitabihi, means that we follow the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the commandments, and we give the Quran its right in reading and recitation and in practice. And we judge by it. Wali kitabihi wali rusulihi or rusulihi and to his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that we follow the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we give the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his rightful haq and that's a part of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa'atihu Allah wa'atihu rusul and follow Allah and follow obey Allah and obey his messenger and this advice is to the leaders of the Muslims. So the Muslim rulers have a right over us. They have a haq that we advise them in righteousness, that we obey them by following their commands as long as their commands are not in uh, disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu said, La ta'a fi ma'asiyatillah. There is no obedience in disobedience to Allah. Wali a'immatul muslimin wa imamihim or li ammatul muslimin wa a'immatihim or kama qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also this nasiha is to the general muslims that we advise one another in khayr. So this is this advice for myself and my brothers and sisters is that we advise one another to come back to the Qur'an and the Sunnah 
and when we have differences, we return it to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah tabarak wa taala says, "Fi kitab al kareem, kana nas ummat wahidat fabagh Allah nabiyina mubashirina wa mundirina wa anzal ma'ahum al kitab bil haq liyhkam bain al nas fi ma khalafu fi." وما اختلف فيه إلا الذين أوتوه من بعد ما جاءتهم البينة بغيا بينهم فهدى الله الذين آمنوا لما اختلفوا فيه من الحق بإذن الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب الكريم The people were once one nation and Allah sent to them messengers uh, giving glad tidings or giving the, the news, of course, the, the news of Jannah and of Khair. Mubashirin wa Mundirina, and as warners, warners of the hellfire, again, you know, warning of the punishment of the, the hellfire. Wa anzala ma'ahum al kitab bil haq, and Allah revealed with these, uh, these prophets, these enbiya, these Nabi'een uh, books with the truth so that they would uh, be able to judge between the people in what they differed over. And they didn't differ except those who were given, and, and except after they were given the book unless and after it was made clear to them. And a, in an oppressive way between them, meaning that they were disobedient and oppressive. And this is the way in which they disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even after things were made clear to them. And then Allah guided them, those who believed, from what they differed about uh, regarding the truth in accordance with uh, His permission. And Allah the Almighty says, fi kitabi al kareem For in tanaza'tum fi shay'in furudduhu ila Allahi wa rasooli in kuntum tu'minun billahi wa liyum al-akhir thalika khayrun wa ahsanu ta'wila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, so if you disagree about something then return it to Allah and His Messenger. If you truly believe in Allah and the Day of Judgment and that is the best ta'wila. And Allah the Almighty says, وَمَا اخْتَلَفْتُمْ فِيهِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَحُكْمُهُ Allah." And anything that you have differed or, over, then the judgment is with Allah. قَالَ حَافِذْ ibn Kathir, رَحِمَ اللَّهُ تَعَلَىٰ Ibn Kathir said in his tafsir regarding this last ayah, he said, "Fi tafsiri, kolohu taala fin tanazatum fi shay for rudul Allah." Ibn Kathir said, "Qala mujahid wa ghayr wahid min al-salaf." He said, "Mujahid said, and more than one person from amongst the salaf, ay in a kitabi la wa sunnati rasulihi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa hada amrun min Allah azza wa jal bi an kullu shayin tanaza an nasu fihi min usul al-din wa furu' wa furu'ihi an yurad an an yurad tanazir tanazi'a fi dhalika ila kitabi wa sunna so Ibn Kathir, he said uh, that this was the explanation of Mujahid and more than one uh, Mufassar, or person who explained the Qur'an from amongst the Salaf. He said that this returning it to Allah means to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the, His Messenger وسلم, and this is a command from Allah, meaning Allah the Almighty commanded this. And so that everything that the people differed over and had differences about with regards to the usul of the religion, the, uh, the which could mean uh, aqidah and the foundation of the religion, and furu'i, the branches of the religion, 
which also can entail fiqh. And more than that, that it should these differences should be uh, returned to uh, uh, to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Quran, and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qala ta'ala, kama qala ta'ala, وما اختلفتم فيه من شيء فحكمه لله ذلكم الله. As is mentioned when Allah the Almighty says, and you differed anything that you differed in from amongst any, then the ruling is with Allah, and that is Allah Azza wa Jal. فما حكم فما حكم به الكتاب والسنة فما حكم فما حكم به الكتاب والسنة وشهد له بصحة وهو الحق وماذا بعد الحق إلى الضلال؟ so anything that any rule that comes from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم and his witness meaning from the Sunnah that this is a Sahih Sunnah then this is the truth. And any what could be after the truth except misguidance. Will he have a qala ta'ala? And in this regard, Allah the Almighty said, in kuntum tu'minun billahi wa liyum al-akhir. That is if you believe in Allah in the day of judgment. Ibn Kathir said about this portion of the ayah, he said, ay, ruddu al-khusumat wal-juhalat إلى كتاب الله وسنة رسوله فتحاكموا إليهما فيما شجر بينكم. So he said this means that to return all of your disagreements and all of those things you are ignorant about to the book of Allah and the Sunnah of His Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم in order to make judgments regarding those things that you differed about. Between yourselves, and then he mentioned the part of the ayat in kuntum tu'minun billahi wa liyum al-akhir. That is, if you believe in Allah in the day of judgment. Ibn Qutayr said, "Fadla ala anna man lam yatahakum fi fi mahalli tanazir ila kitabi wa sunna, wa la yirja ilayhi ma fi dhalika, falaysa mu'min billahi wa la biliyum al-akhir." He said that this is evidence. This last part of the verse where Allah says, "In kuntum tu'minun billahi wa liyum al-akhir," that is, if you believe in Allah in the day of judgment, then you would uh, return your differences to the Book of Allah and uh, the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This means this is evidence. Ibn Kathir said this is evidence that the one who does not judge by uh, when they have these differences by the Quran and the Sunnah and does not return back to them with regards to those things they differed over, then this person is not a mu'min billah, nor in the day of judgment. This is the, the speech of Ibn Kathir. And he said, وَقَوْلُهُ ذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ He said in the with regards to the statement where Allah said that this is uh, better for you or better. He says, "I attahakam al kitab Allah wa sunnat Rasulihi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa rojoo ilayhima fi fasli tanazir khair." He said that this means that it is better for you to judge uh, regarding the book, uh, to judge in accordance with the book of Allah and the Sunnah of His Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and return to them with regards to those things that you differed. That this is the best. And he said, "Wa ahsanu ta'wila." Allah subhanahu wa taala said, "Wa ahsanu ta'wila." Ibn Kathir said, "This means a wa ahsanu aqibatan wa malan kama kama qalahu Suddi wa ghaira wahid wa qala mujahid wa ahsanu jazaan wa huwa qareeb." Ibn Kathir said that this means this part of the verse where Allah subhanahu wa taala said, "Wa ahsanu ta'wila." This means a. He said. That means that this is the best uh, ending, the best outcome 
and place that you are trying to, the best uh, place that you're trying to move towards. You know, so this is the best outcome, the best result. Similar, uh, and this is similar to what Suddi said, and and more than one from amongst the Tabi'in and the Mufassirin. And he said that Mujahid said, Rahimahumullah Jami'in wa Ahsan Jaza'in, meaning that the, this is the best reward for this. And he said that this is close, meaning this is close in meaning. That this, uh, that the one who judges by the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the son of the Messenger of Allah refers their differences back to this, to the book of Allah and the son of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that this shows that they believe in uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the day of judgment and that this is the best, uh, to get the best result and the best outcome. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those who judge by his book and the sunnah of his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the madhab of the salaf of this ummah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many, many mistakes and bless us with ikhlas with the bad. And bless Ahl sunnah to return back to the Quran and the sunnah and to be united, to be united so we can go forth calling the people to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We're setting an example for the people and not being a discouragement for the people. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.